Hey guys, happy holidays. Brian from Progressive Force Concepts here with our last drill for you guys for 20, uh, 2014. We'll see you guys next year in 2015. This one is called uh, Corduroys from Aunt Martha. And the reason for that is, number one, it is holiday time. And number two, a gift of Corduroys from Aunt Martha sucks. And this drill sucks. Uh, it's really good for you, but it's a, it's a real smoker, particularly if you set it up the way, uh, the way we have it organized. Again, we understand with range limitations, you might have to tweak this a little bit, massage it, and set it up a certain way to, to work in conjunction with what you guys have material-wise. But uh, we think you guys can get creative and, uh, and make it work. Essentially, here's what we've got. Uh, we've got a cone over here at this far position. That's probably about 100 meters uh, away from the target. Uh, we've got a nice piece of high ground. You can see the declination is indicated here. There's a ramp that runs up to the top of that. At the far end, we've got some natural terrain, some boulders, three more cones, three more cones, two more cones, and then a, a plate that is set up uh, downrange. So basically, here's how the drill works. Shooter will be back here at the uh, rear left extremity of the range, three, two, one, go. They'll run to the first firing position. This is going to be a kneeling shot. Carbine, they'll drop down two rounds, center mass on the steel. Weapon on safe, high port. In this case, to get a nice little heart spike, they're running up the ramp. Hitting the center point on the high ground uh, up range, they're going to take then fire two rounds. Again, two hits on the uh, steel plate, weapon on safe, high port. We were fortunate enough in the area that we were training that we had some natural terrain in the form of boulders that afforded us the opportunity to actually employ some barricade tactics using proper standoff and whatnot. Again, be mindful of the offset between your bore and your visual plane as well. If you tag those boulders, it could be uh, epic consequences. But again, two hits on steel. At that point, high port, running down range. Now this next line that is indicated right here is approximately 50 yards or 50 meters away from the target. That's from the center point. But because of this 45 degree angle that we've got drawn out, on the outside edges, it's actually more like a 70 meter shot. So these three positions right here are carbine engagement. Those are gonna be fired standing. So two rounds standing, high port, run to the center, two rounds standing, high port, run to the outside left edge, two rounds high port. At this point, depending upon how you wanna run the range, if your guys are slung or unslung, we take and we put the weapon on safe, we're grounding the rifle and transitioning to the pistol phase. These cones that I've got indicated up here with the blue silhouette around them are indicative of pistol stages. So the first position on the left, Two rounds, two hits on the uh, steel. Control that muzzle, keeping it oriented up or down range, moving across to the center position. And these guys right here are sitting at around 25 meters away from the target. Outside edges, again, more like 30. Two rounds, two rounds, two rounds. Upon finishing at the far right extremity, shooter's gonna control the muzzle on the handgun. They're gonna run to these last two cones that are a lane that operates from about 12 meters up to about seven to eight meters. And in that lane, the shooter's going to have to fire four hits on target on the move. So again, recap on the drill. Two rounds on safe, high port from the high ground. Two rounds on safe, high port from the boulder protected position. Two rounds high port. Then we're down to the 50 slash 75 zone. Moving from right to left. Two rounds rifle, two rounds rifle, two rounds rifle. Moving to the 25 yard positions for the handgun. Two rounds handgun, moving from left to right, two rounds handgun, two rounds handgun, moving to the center of shooting on the move lane, moving towards that target again, four rounds. Now, if that's too easy for you, you think that's not challenging enough, we took and of course got uh, a little bit uh, ambitious, if you will, Doug being a righty, myself being a lefty, and we ran the entirety of the course bilateral. I ran it on my right side, he ran it on his left side, and of course we're logging time and penalties for uh, hits and misses and whatnot. If you think that that's too easy, we found another option that, uh, that made this course pretty, uh, pretty challenging was we ran it in reverse. Instead of shooting on the move moving forward, we started at the forward limit cone, four rounds in reverse, and then working from right to left on the pistol stages, left to right on the carbine stages, then our barricade, then our high ground, and then finishing up at the rearward left extremity on the range. Good, uh, good drill to take and combine some cardiovascular elements, really forcing the shooter to calm themselves down and get good solid control on their, uh, their sights. And one of the other uh, final things that we observed was when we shot from these right hand positions, just by pure happenstance we didn't set this up, but the sun tended to be to our front left. So we were looking into the sun and there was some natural shadow that was coming down and casting over the top of the target. That made picking up that target exceptionally difficult uh, as well as once it got a few rounds on it, some hits, it started to camouflage into the background and, uh, and that's just, that's good for you, that's life. So uh, anyway, we think you guys will, uh, will enjoy this a little bit more than, uh, than you'd actually enjoy a, a pair of corduroys that came to you from Aunt Martha. 
Uh, again, guys, thanks so much for a fantastic 2014. We uh, really look forward to seeing you guys uh, both back here on our YouTube page as well as uh, in some programs in 2015. Take care and stay safe.